after the uh, war had been over for some time and we had been, uh, uh, the division had, and uh, our photo company had been moved to uh, other other places, we went to a town called Braunschweig and were quartered in a uh, big in a, uh, office building and a, uh, a small apartment complex that had been partly bombed out across the street where I had stayed as an officer. But the last few days we were there in that building, that uh, office building, we were all gathered together to watch the films that had been done by our newsreel units and various cameramen of the <coughs> combat assignment units. And I think that filming lasted about, what, maybe five or six hours a day for three days. And uh, that's just to give a, an indication how extensive the filming was of uh, the various places. And it was one of our newsreel units, I believe, that photographed that picture you've seen in, uh, oh, time and time again, but very definitely again in Ken Burns' film on the war, of General Eisenhower going into one of these camps, seeing the dead bodies just about everywhere, and ordering the townspeople nearby to come in and help them dispose of the dead bodies and help uh, us help with the burial of the dead bodies. So we had a very extensive indoctrination. Uh, seeing our own films done by motion picture photographers in our own company that went on and on and on because of the extent of the murdering that went on by Nazi hands. Of, of prisoners of war, of Jews, of Poles, Russians, gypsies, and occasional, uh, let's say, Germans who were politi uh, politically antagonistic to the Nazi regime. When you got to Europe, did you hear any rumors about what was happening to the Jews and the German occupied territories? Uh, yes, we uh, kept hearing the rumors and of course the minute, almost from the minute American forces entered Germany, they started running into labor camps of various sorts where uh, the treatment of the prisoners uh, was as as heavy laborers, and of course the uh, uh, treatment they received otherwise was uh, uh, just as in small barracks that were badly heated, and the food that they were given was minuscule, and as a result, many of the workers who had been wounded and uh, as soldiers and uh, captured civilians and also gypsies and Jews who had been captured and working uh, for, uh, let's say, produ uh, in production lines for the German military goods, making German military goods. They were just allowed to die and very often they were not buried. But one case that was very important to all of us in the fifth, or in the uh, 168 Signal Photo Company was a series of photographs that Joe von Stroheim, the son of uh, Eric von Stroheim, the famous old uh, movie producer and movie actor, who was with the uh, uh, combat unit four and um, uh, actually, it happened fairly near where we were with the 5th Armored Division. He came upon a barn and found that the barn was 
uh, smoldering. There was a, a still uh, some fire going on somewhere in the barn, and it turned out to be uh, hay and other kinds of uh, stuff that farmers would uh, have in a barn. Plus, somewhere in the high 20s or 30s, a bunch of dead prisoners wearing the striped garb that they put on to prisoners, not necessarily of war, but any, any prisoners that the Germans would take. And they were all dead. What had happened, was found out, was that uh, the uh, small German unit, uh, and this was in, in Germany, a small German unit had left a camp area where the American or the Allied troops were about to enter. It would have, probably would have been the Ninth Army, was advanced, get these people out of the way, move them to another prison camp. And what they did, they got into a big rush, finally herded them into this barn and killed them with uh, a fire, uh, phosphorus, white phosphorus uh, bomb, or uh, shells, or uh, uh, grenades that would set things afire, shot them, and so on. And we also heard, and uh, it was, I'm not sure it was ever confirmed, but it was found out that the farmers in that area found some of these prisoners had escaped under a door leading into the barn and uh, that they had bayoneted them with uh, pitchforks. But at any, because they did find some dead bodies outside of the barn when it was investigated. And it was investigated soon after the German uh, troops were uh, marching these uh, prisoners to another site had departed, probably within the same day. And Joe von Stroheim was Jewish? Yes, Joe was uh, uh, a Jewish fellow, and uh, actually his uh, combat unit uh, officer was also a Jewish fellow. And they were both concerned, as most Jewish American soldiers were concerned, that uh, they would be in bad shape if they got captured as uh, soldiers by the Germans. But at any rate, that didn't prevent them from doing their photographic work. And Joe shot a, an amazingly uh, good series of, of photographs of what went on in that barn. And they really, if you want to see the Holocaust in action, that was a, a pretty good example.